Hello, my name is Gail Morton. I'm going to show you how to use a search library at ProQuest to find free health uh, articles. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to libraries.mercer.edu and scroll down until I find research guides and tutorials. I'm going to scroll some more until I find free health subject. Here it is. Click on free health. There's a list of databases. I'm going to look for a research library at ProQuest. Okay, I'm just going to put some search terms in here. You can see how this works. Sneakers and diabetes. my results. I got 540 results. I have scholarly journals. See it has a little hat symbol. This symbol is magazines. So let's just say I want to search for scholarly journals and I want them to be peer-reviewed, which means that someone that is an expert in the field of PhD wrote an article and sent it to a particular journal where other people read it with the same credentials, that same um, PhD credential, and they said whether they would publish it or not. Sometimes you have to edit it, sometimes you don't, but that's peer-reviewed, and the majority of your articles that you need for school are going to be required for you to have peer-reviewed. So I scroll down, and I can click on Scholarly Journals and find 62, what is right here. You can see all these charts. So you'll know it's a quantitative original research. I'm going to open one up. Here's a PDF full text. Here's the article. I'm going to download this PDF. You can save this PDF to your browser if you want. Um, it'll open up at the bottom. Or you can read it right here. Full text PDF, here it is. There's also a citation link right here. And here's your citation in APA. So you would copy this and paste it into your, into your paper. You should double check for editing because it isn't always 100% all the time like sometimes there might be capitalizations that shouldn't be and so forth so double check that or if you don't okay here's another one if, you, if you're not looking for APA put this drop down there's a bunch of different citation styles it just defaults to APA so you can pick which one you need okay. I'm going to go back one more see my search results. I've got 67 results. I'm going to change. Let's see what happens if I hit this. It's called an asterisk. And that's the asterisk means it will change the word a little bit. It'll change it to sneaker, sneakers, stuff like that. Let's see what we get if I hit that. Sixty-eight results. And probably it was sneakers, and then it would go sneaker. I'm going to show you one more thing with these research terms. You have to be careful when you use them because it's only looking for that one term. But that one term can mean so many things. So let's try this. Tennis shoe and diabetes. Now I have 131. Let's try again. Athletic shoe. Two hundred and forty-nine. It seems to be the right term. And again, you can put the asterisk on it to make the athletic shoes. You can also try footwear. So there's a lot that goes into a research term. So when you're when you're doing it, think about synonyms for the research term. Okay. And this is how you find peer-reviewed articles using Research Library at ProQuest.